Hey everyone, Logan here in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina, and today I'm sitting on the Tidewater 2500 Carolina Bay, powered by the Yamaha 300 DES engine. And what I want to go over is the Yamaha CL5 gauge that we're starting to see on more and more boats, if not pretty much all of our boats. So let's swing around and take a look at it. Now this right here is our main display that we're going to see. Top left corner, miles per hour. Our fuel is represented here by this blue bar. Uh, this right here is representing our trim. Our RPMs will be right here in these big bold letters. Uh, I don't have the engine on, but obviously if the engine's on, those numbers would be showing. Down here at the bottom left, uh, we're going to have our basic engine data, including batteries. And when the engine is on and running, essentially you want to see that blue bar right somewhere right there in the middle. And lastly, up here middle left, our fuel used. Uh, this is tracked by trip. And below that, economy, economy and flow. And I really like uh, having the economy and flow, especially when I'm on longer trips. Uh, I like to dial it in, make it sort of a game to see how good, how economical I can get the boat running. Next, if we slide right here to the right, uh, now we're going to see how we can edit, change, adjust stuff here on the boat. First is going to be the trip. And this is typically the easiest way to find out our total hours here on the engine. Uh, but you can also see your trip hours, trip distance, and easily resetted, reset right here. Going on back, uh, if you do have the DES steering, you can adjust steer friction, lock to lock, and if you have trim assist. Going in here into information, uh, this is a really nice thing to know. Uh, we can see maintenance, maintenance reminder, at your 100 hours. And then scrolling on down, uh, other need to know is going to be active alarms, if there is an active alarm, trouble codes, and warning manager. So if something is acting funky on the boat, that's going to be the first place you're going to check there to see what's going on with the engine. Below that, uh, boat settings, you really shouldn't need to just any of this stuff once the boat's set up right. Device settings, and then of course reset. Again, I stay far away from all the rest of those buttons. Uh, when you're done here on the screen, just gonna scroll on back, and now we got uh, our, our main display. And notice how when I reset the trip, my used fuel went back to zero. Thanks for watching this quick video. If y'all have any questions or anything I can help with, leave a comment below. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Have fun out there in the water and be safe.